So I have just done a huge Costco haul, which is all laid out behind me. Um, actually, I put something in the freezer. I'll have to get out. Um, and yes, I did this because we've had a few cases in Australia. I uh, didn't Australia. Um, in Melbourne today. And we live nowhere near Costco anymore, so we can't do it in our bubble. Um, so I figured I'd go and get stuff because I really needed quite a bit from there, but had been delaying it. So... Um, I pulled money out of savings and just took it and went and got what I thought we would need um, from Costco for the next sort of few weeks and that sort of thing. What are you doing? <laughs> You're supposed to be in bed. Good night, no, no. Say night. Say good night. No. No. No, she's grumpy because I told her to go to bed. All right, so we will get going. So first up we have some Ruffles chips, um, I liked these as a kid so I brought one bag, there actually wasn't that many left so I left it there. I brought two boxes of the whatever however you say that, brownies, um, ignore the floor I haven't sweeped it after dinner, um, butter chick, I got um, a packet of mushrooms, a big thing of toilet paper and a big thing of pull-ups which is a new thing that they have so I thought I would get it I actually couldn't work out whether it was cheap or not but I just got it because we needed them another thing of mushrooms because we go through quite a bit of mushrooms um, two things of broccoli um, a thing of salsa which we use for nachos or I was going to try a Spanish rice a recipe which uses the salsa uh, maple syrup because um, in last lockdown the kids made um, pancakes, um, quite a few of them, and we used a whole jar and I only got one, I'm not sure why, but I can buy it from Coles, it's just 10,000 times more expensive. Um, and then um, a huge thing of hundreds and thousands, a few people have asked us what we use this for, so in Australia, um, I know some countries don't do this, but we just put these on bread and they eat it for lunch, so it's kind of like a topping for bread. Um, and then two 30 packs of eggs, a huge bag of carrots. I brought these soups because they looked really nice. So there is a Thai sweet potato and coffee. Oh, I don't have my glasses on, so man, you can probably read it better than I can. Um, a cauliflower, parsnip, and whatever that says, Dijon. Um, tomato, beetroot, and feta. Not that the camera's thing are we? Um, curried cashew and lentil, green minestone and that sort of thing. Um, so I thought I'd give them a go. They're on sale for $10 a packet. Carrots were only like $2 a packet, I'm going to say. Um, mushrooms, they were only six. Um, no, only five. Um, a lot of other places, they're six. Um, I got two boxes of the um, tiny teddies. Keep in mind, um, this is only like one packet each um, of each different kind really if all of us have it and my battery is about to die um, and then I have some choc chip um, muesli bars this is new for Costco which I'm glad because these are what we use um, most of the time we don't like the Kirkland brand they're just too sugary for us then I've got five packets of corn, so that is two meals because our kids like corn. A thing of coffee, which I'm pretty sure I've said. A few people ask if I drink coffee. No, I don't. Um, and I'm anaphylactic to tea, so no, I don't drink that either. Um, soy sauce, which I use all the time. Um, two things of shampoo. I don't know where the second one has gone. Oh, over there, Stephen, show me. Um, and then I've got five things of chicken. I'm going to dice this up tomorrow. I'm not going to do it tonight. And I just bag it up ready to go. Two things of face masks. Because it's compulsory to wear face masks inside in Melbourne. Um, at like the shops and stuff. Um, some pump. We need more pumps. Um, we ran out of this kind. Um, because we only have one bathroom at the other house. And I was just using up stuff that... I'd already had um, from stocking up in our big lockdown last year. So I got this packet. I got a whole heap of wraps, like a whole tower. These last like forever, I swear. 
this lasts till January 15th next year so there's three 12 packs in them and we use these for heaps of things for wraps so to make tacos and stuff or burritos or whatever and then the kids make pizzas from them quite often um, and then they make those things starting with Q can't think of it right now um, then we have Milo which is $12 for this one which I thought was pretty reasonable I actually have, don't buy Milo that often um, and that sort of thing um, a few people have asked what it is it is a malt chocolate drink it's just a malt drink I don't know we've had it all our life so I just drink it it's Milo but yeah it's a malt drink then I got five kilos of potatoes for uh, two two packs of Milo cereal um, and then we have Pringle single serves, three five kilo bags of basmati rice. I, it's cheaper to buy them when they're half price at Woolies brand in the white canvas site bag or Coles. But I find that that one is really gluggy when you make it in, I don't know whether it's just because I make it in the microwave, but I found it real not very good since I've tried this brand um, or another brand that they have at Costco in a pink bag. So um, I got those ones, they are $12.99 a bag. So not too much difference from the $10.99 or whatever it is. For the other ones, we got two of these, two packs of um, tasty cheese, because my kids like adore tasty cheese. Two things of um, steak here, because not all of us, um, not all the little kids will eat steak, so that's mainly for Okay, so we've got, um, yeah, the beef, which not all of us will eat. Um, I will, and the older kids will. And then I'll just cook up sausages or the soles or something else for the other kids. Um, and then I've got my deodorant and Caitlin's deodorant, refills of that um, soft soap stuff because we burn through that. Four packets of um, spaghetti sauce, which would be... One, two, three, four, five, six meals um, for all them because we've used four jars per meal now with the amount of meats we use. And I've just realised I didn't pick up any mints and I'm going to cry. Anyway, I got um, Colgate toothpaste because we all like clean teeth, Eric's um, deodorant, tomato sauce because they pretty much drink the stuff around here. There are another box of Tiny Teddies, four boxes of the ginormous um, Nutrigrain, um, and Finish Quantum. Now these are only usually like 20 something dollars, and they were 34, but I really needed them, so I got them. But I actually think they're cheaper at Coles at that price, but I wasn't going to stop off at Coles just to get something probably the same price. Um, then a pack of um, jocks for Eric, um, oh, there's my battery that I just changed, soap, and then I got, oh, that's my handbag, um, this packet of, um, things to attach my photos to the wall, because there's a whole bunch of boxes sitting over there that need attaching to the wall. So I'm editing, editing the vlog, and I've noticed I didn't put an ending to this video. So the Costco was $1,054 and something cents. Um, I did buy an Elsa costume as well, a 7 to 9 one, for Bella to wear for book week. Not thinking that, I don't think they'll even have book week because, well they may push it like last year, but um, it's only in a few weeks and I can see it being pushed um, further with these um, cases popping up. So it is a few days later, everything is now backlogged about a week and I have so many videos. I think I did two or three in one day. Um, um, I did none for ages and then just pumped them out and then didn't edit. Anyway, I will get there. Um, so yes, so yeah, we're like day three or four into lockdown now. I don't even think we're in lockdown in this video that I did. I can't remember what I just said literally 10 minutes ago in the vlog um anyway so yeah we're currently um day three or four i have no idea when we're at okay um i think we're day three and we've had 
um, a few exposure sites near us um, and that sort of thing. So many schools are coming up um, as exposure sites or like there were positive cases in teachers or students um, and that sort of thing, which is really worrying. Um, our school and another school in the area weren't back yet. I think we were the only schools that weren't back. So our school and this other school um, weren't back as in private. Um, so kind of handy for us that we, even if our teachers test positive because they were at school last week, um, we won't have to do anything because none of us went to school. Um, I think the um, like holiday program might have to, but anyway. Um, yeah, so that is a positive thing for having an extra week, but um, yeah, there's exposure sites popping up everywhere. So it's like a little red dot city again which is scary and it's moving so fast like they're saying within 1.7 days delta is passing on um like they're testing positive whereas the original one was a few days up to 10 days um and that sort of thing like being positive i don't know but that's what i think they're saying i don't understand their ramble um so yeah so it's really fast that you're getting your infectious period. Actually, I think it's 1.5, 1.7 days until you're infectious. So if I went to McDonald's today and stood next to someone who's infectious, 1.5, one, I said one and a half days later, I would be infectious. That's my understanding. Could be wrong, um, but that is what they're tracking in Melbourne so far. All of them are linked and all that, so pretty good. We just need to get on top of. Um, like everyone that's out in the community and sort of stop it. Um, so yes, and a few people have asked um, about Costco and during lockdown why, I know they will ask, um, and they have already asked on a thing, um, why um, we would need permission to go to Costco. So we have a five kilometer bubble, so we can go from here to five kilometer radius all the way around. So we're not allowed past that. It's a really strict rule. Um, so I get away with going to, um, no, Andrew works in our bubble just, and but Caitlin doesn't. So I'm allowed to go pick her up, but I'm not supposed to leave the vehicle at any time past the bubble. Um, so last night I got her to give me dinner, but um, uh, I had to get her to come out and get my card, go pay for it, and she brought it out. So that is my understanding of the bubble system. Um, if you have a medical appointment, you're allowed to get out. And I believe, I, I do believe if you're by yourself and you need food, you are allowed to go and get something. But I don't know. The rules change all the time and they're so unclear about what you can and can't do. But my understanding is because I'm going to and from pretty quick to Caitlin's work, um, I'm not allowed out of the vehicle um, outside the bubble, so, or I shouldn't be outside the bubble unless, I don't know, I had an emergency and I had to go to the toilet or, I don't know, for whatever reason I would need to go get out of the car. But um, anyway, um, that is it for that shop. It is quite a bit of food um, and that sort of thing. Um, yes, so I think that is it for today, guys. Hopefully, we can get back. I prefer the vlogs to be that day. So I know what I'm talking about because I got no clue. Um, and yeah, so I can't remember what happened that day. Oh, I do remember now. It's very exciting. Something is exciting in the new um, next vlog, I think. Oh gosh, it might be the one after that. Um, so yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. But that is all for today, guys. Like, sub subscribe and comment below. Bye.